Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you a journal that I've completed. This journal is um, <clears throat> turned out massive. Uh, it's a fabric and lace covered journal. That's the back. It's got like a pink fabric, it's all sewn on. Um, <clears throat> there's lots of different laces on the cover. Uh, it measures um, 8 inches by 5.5 and, and it's obviously got like a bit of a rounded or curved spine. There is kits from Artie Mays, Tsunami Rose, um, Christy Art Designs, and someone else, I can't remember who it is, Old Dreams, etc. <clears throat> um, so let me talk about the front cover here. There is obviously that pink fabric underneath that you can barely see now because I've covered it all up. Um, there's this image here, this is from Artie Mays and it's her um, Victorian Beauties. <clears throat> um, there's some cheesecloth. Um, some muslin behind there. There is a, a triple bowl um, made with seam binding and then I've just put a bulb pin on there with some little bead dangles. <clears throat> there is this um, flower applique and this here. I'd ordered um, some stuff, uh, some laces from China and I got it yesterday so I was really happy to be able to use that. So that was what I got, that, um, this lace and this lace and anything else I will point out as I go along. <clears throat> so we've got some bead dangles in the middle of the signature um, which just dangle down at the bottom. There is eyelets hidden behind there with seam binding closure. <clears throat> this will be listed on my Etsy if anyone's interested. Now, let me see, it opens, it's got lots in there. <clears throat> I had quite a lot of fun making this one. So on the inside, I've um, there's some fabric on the inside, again, covered up. Um, but it obviously it's nice to have that trim around. Um, there is a flip up, flip down here, it is a pocket. We have got ephemera and tags inside there. This is from uh, Dreams Etc. So that opens up and it pops in there. <clears throat> and we have a handmade tag which says this book belongs to and some ephemera here from, I think it's Christy Art Designs and Tsunami Rose. So here I've just paper clipped on some ephemera. The papers here are from Artie Mays and it's, it's um, there isn't a particular theme with the papers. They're all from different kits but they're um, like her background papers so I kind of mixed and matched them. Um, this is a little flip out, you can journal on that. And that pops in there. <clears throat> so here we have a flip up that is no doubt glued down. <laughs> yes, of course it is. It's me. There we go. Um, and it's got uh, a piece of square doily, some lace trim here and one of these flower appliques. <clears throat> I've made some tags and this is a little bookmark. I think that's Christy Art Designs. Uh, the image here is from Artie Mays and I've just done some stamping on these large handmade stamps and I coloured the butterflies in with, um, what do you call them things again, uh, Prisma uh, watercolour pencils. <clears throat> I haven't used them in a while. So we've got a doily and a paper bag and some edge punching here on the paper. There is stenciling throughout, there is still loads of places to journal. There's little bead dangles on the edges of the pages that have the crocheted trim on there. So here I just made a pocket with um, some, some of this new lace that I got. The trim here I'd got from Amanda Charlesworth and then I just glued on some um, pearl beads here. There is a large tag and that is from Dreams Etc. It's so pretty. <clears throat> the colours are just very, they really do catch your eye. So that just slots in there and we have a little, um, what do you call that again? My brain's gone dead. A uh, library card. <clears throat> I've got lots going on in my head at the moment. <laughs> so we've got um, like a half page there and it's got um, a postcard from Artie Mays. There's nothing in the postcard but it's just paper clipped on and then this little ephemera piece is slotted in there. Here I made um, some altered paper clips, uh, you know, doing the hidden um, part of 
the paper clip <clears throat> and I just added on there a little um, ticket from Artie Mays and that's from the Sunflower collection so I had them left over so I used them and I've just put some pattern paper which again was Artie Mays some bling and a little piece of trim there I love this page I love the colours on there and it's just kind of so like mishmashy it's nice here is one of the square doilies and what I done was the full vellum technique on it um, and obviously just folded it in half and glued it on here as a corner tuck and then I've just got this little um, lace trim with the flower on there and a tag and a piece of ephemera here this is just um, a little flip out <clears throat> with some music paper there this was some tsunami rose so I just glued that on there here we've just got some ephemera can do some journaling on that. I love this pretty paper too. <clears throat> Here I just made some flip up, flip downs and using them as um, like pockets. Some ephemera and a Tiffany and Co tag. <clears throat> and the trim, that's, this is two different trims. Uh, both I got from Amanda Charlesworth. Here is just two pieces of ephemera just paper clipped on. And on here, this is uh, one of the um, little pieces from Dreams, etc. <clears throat> a little library card. And obviously, when you take the paper clip off, that actually folds out. <clears throat> Another bead dangle on the crocheted trim. Here I've done um, an altered uh, window envelope. And that is actually a pocket there as well and a pocket here so you can just see that just a note there and <clears throat> we've got some layering here with some laces and a little flower um, lace piece there a doily a paper bag some edge punch paper some lined paper this again is from Artie Mays um, here we've just got another tag from Dreams etc and this is from Tsunami Rose I do like adding the um, the ephemera like written ephemera if you want to call it that like vintage looking ephemera that's the word here is one of Artie Maisie's little hang tags but I didn't do the holes I just stapled um, the crocheted trim on there to hold it together so you can write on there underneath and on the back this is one of the flips from Terry Wood <clears throat> which flips out and obviously that flips up and you've got all that journaling space <clears throat> and I'm learning to put these back together properly because the first one that I done, I couldn't work out how to put it back together. We've just got a, a piece of square doily, some lace trim, and a little flower there. <clears throat> and that just slots in there. Some more ephemera and a uh, bookmark just paper clipped on. This is from Dreams, etc. And then we've just got this large journaling card in there which again take the paper the paper clip off and this little piece flips out so in the middle is just the bead dangles another envelope which is paper clipped on with a library card there and that is the envelope here we've got a handmade envelope this is from dreams etc we've got a, a a round paper doily here, this lace trim, this lovely little um, heart applique, <clears throat> applique, applique, however you pronounce it, a postcard here, it's from Artie Mays, and a handmade tag, and another tag from Dreams, etc. Uh, the other side of the paper bag obviously it's been trimmed off so that you can tuck things inside here I've just made a flip out it, um, with some lace and square doily and another heart and it's got a side pocket there with some ephemera <clears throat> and that doesn't want to go back in I printed out quite a bit of stuff and I've got quite a lot left over that I think I might make another one similar to this soon <laughs> um, I'll probably change my mind I never really know what I'm going to make until I actually you know come into my um, my shed and 
decide what am I going to make, what theme is it going to be. I rarely have anything planned. So it's another envelope there with um, a postcard, another flip up, flip down. These images are from Christy Art Designs and a handmade tag and a dreams etc tag. <coughs> here we've got another one of those paper clips and a postcard from uh, Archie Mays <clears throat> and that's just obviously the only difference here is the um, the ticket the image on the ticket so this is just paper clipped on as well so we've just got ephemera and a little bookmark here is just an envelope there's nothing in the envelope Uh, this is a an envelope, but it's it's got a little pocket. I've like flipped it up, done some stenciling, um, <clears throat> glued the uh, the image here onto some book page, and then just done some decorative um, trimming on that. Added some of this trim and this flower here. Like I said, there's a pocket there, and it's also a side pocket there. And that flips out. That's from Dreams, etc. Here we've just got another one of these four vellum uh, square doilies which obviously is folded over so it's like a corner tuck. Some more ephemera and a tag there. Another bead dangle. A uh, paper bag and a doily. I think this is the last page. A uh, journaling card, um, a big tag and a handmade tag. And that was in there. It's got a doily here, some um, lace trim and one of these flower appliques and that just uh, flips up. <clears throat> and in the back here that is just the same as the front basically. Some lace trim and that says happy day and we've got some ephemera, oops, ephemera, a tag, a little flip out and a library card. So that is this journal and like I said this is um, listed on my Etsy if anyone's interested. Um, oh, it's so lovely. <coughs> well I think it's lovely. Um, really enjoyed making this. Like, I really enjoyed adding all the, the new trims and stuff that I got to it. Um, so yeah, so that is the journal. If you have any questions just ask and thanks for watching. Bye.